Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the jersey review for the 22-23 La Liga season. First a little bit about the background. I'm very proud that I have of the 20 teams in La Liga this season, I have actually 14 already in my collection and you see all of them back there. Uh, there is one 15th team and unfortunately that one got relegated. So uh, you will see me putting 14 jerseys back up there and I usually wear then an alternate or you know a jersey from a team that I have uh, two uh, or more jerseys from, uh, which are exactly five, and you will see them coming up. I'm wearing the centenary jersey, away jersey for Real Madrid, which complements nicely the centenary home jersey up there. But before we get into the review, um, quickly, how do I uh, get the pictures in this video? From where do I have them? And of course, how did I decide to uh, group the um, teams within the video? Well, the pictures, I usually go to footy headlines, but seemingly they have some trouble with displaying Puma shorts. So I said, okay, there needs to be a better source. And of course there is. It's footballkitarchive.com, a web page uh, linked below that I strongly can recommend. And what the nice feature there is if you have an account, not only can you add jerseys yourself, but you also can kind of have an online archive of your own collection, which I really, really like, plus a wish list. So uh, I have to go through through it, but it's a, it's a page where you can also spend uh, countless hours on. Now, how did I now choose the teams within the video? So first of all, uh, every team that I choose, it's in alphabetical order and it's not a strict alphabetical, it's basically how I do call the teams and I will mention that uh, a little bit later how I do it in uh, every particular video. But what I do is I take last season standings and then I go one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, and so on and so forth. Every team with number one goes in the first video, everyone with number two in the second, third, third and fourth video and so on. And with this mechanism, we have in this video Barcelona, Villarreal, Osasuna, Getafe, and newly promoted Almeria. And because we do it alphabetically, this is exactly where we will start with Ude Almeria. Now, um, they are with Castori, and it's the first of uh, two teams that have Castori this season in La Liga. And I gotta say they have achieved a rare thing, a Castori shirt that I really like because it is just simple. It's red and white stripes. We can argue the lines. I'm never sure whether I, uh, whether, you know, if it's plain striping would be better because the white gets a little bit diminished. But uh, beside that, there is really not much that I can fault it for. Even look at the sponsor. All the letters in the sponsor, however weird the sponsor may look, they are outlined, which makes for an instantly better look. I do like this quite some. I uh, actually would go as far of giving this uh, also like I did for Athletic Club. Ah, maybe not nine. Let's give it an eight star, but it's a, re it's a really, really strong look. The um, away jersey is the beige one. It's interesting. Uh, <laughs> It's maybe not a color that I'm immediately attracted to, but I do like that on the top, there's a very intricate, almost gothic uh, pattern, uh, you know, medieval in, 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 in a way, which looks really, really cool. The only thing is, I'm not sure how much it fits with the gradient coming up, but it doesn't really distract too much from the jersey overall. The gradient is probably, that's a fad, that's probably died about five, six years ago, um, but you know, they bring it back. But overall, again, it it's a solid look. This is a really well-crafted jersey. Maybe trying two ideas at once is not the ideal one. But I also think uh, Castori is doing a really, really good job here. I also want to give this an eight star. Um, and despite this being a color that I'm not attracted to at all, this kind of sandstony color. Uh, and even the third jersey, you could argue, is interesting. I do like the color combination. I'm not sure how much it relates to Almeria in itself. But other, other than that, the um, uh, is it a dark? Yeah, I think it's a very dark blue and a very bright, bl uh, flashy blue. Uh, which complement each other really, really well. Now, uh, maybe because it's not necessary for the club's color, but the previous wasn't also, but you needed um, contrast here. I would have wished maybe for, I, 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 I don't know, something. Yeah, it's a bit too much. Let's put it that way. Although I do like uh, the idea. It's not a bad jersey. It's, I think, quite an attractive one. 
Um, and I also will, I, I, I would go with a seven here. It's really Almeria and Castori. This is the first set. I think this is the highest rated set of Castori that I have ever rated. Although I may have checked with the Leverkusen. They are getting better because what they have done in the Premier League last season was already not too, too my liking. But maybe they are now turning the corner. Their logo is very attractive also. Going from the potentially smallest team in this video, we're going to the very biggest. The Giants that are Barca. Um, don't want to mention much uh, about my general thoughts about Barca because they're out there if you go on my channel. However, we need to talk about the jersey. And first off, the template that Nike has here is awful. And I think for Barca, they crafted something really, really, really nice. Um, we are having kind of a 90s look with the dark shoulders. Uh, so we have a navy accent in addition to the classic Barca colors. And then we add in the striping a third blue stripe. And that's the one where I'm not entirely sure. So the impression that I get is it's a navy jersey where they put the Barca stripes um, below, but leaving a little bit of a gap. It's an unusual look. Now, when I was looking for which jersey would potential, which past jersey would potentially fit this best, I always go back to the centenary jersey because it had the dark shoulders. It has some vibes from that, uh, honestly. We have also a new sponsor in Spotify. And almost similar to the team viewer for Manchester United, it's not a bad sponsor per se, but we have logo plus text and that never looks really good. If it was logo above the text, I think there would be a little bit more symmetry on there that I would enjoy a little bit more. Um, in the Classico, of course, they were wearing this with Drake's logo, which I thought did not look better at all. And this is, despite me, I, I don't have anything against owls or, 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 or whatever. But it seems like you could have left it blank, just, uh, just the same with the same effect. I think uh, a sponsor needs to be there. Uh, the, so that's kind of so-and-so. I have to say I'm also not sold on this uh, rounded uh, top. Not really liking, at least uh, you hit away that uh, uh, trapezoid uh, thingy on the front of the of the collar, on the back of the collar. You don't see it as much as well, what they, whatever they, the boomerang shape that they put there. So that is all fine. I am also not sure what is this pixelated graphic within the stripes. Again, I think Barca are trying a little bit too much here. I think if you keep this just plain colors, I think this would elevate the shirt. So while I don't think it's a bad Barca jersey, I've seen way better ones, but I it's an improvement on last season. That's as well. And maybe the season might also be improvement on last season. Let's go seven here. It's not hor hor horrible. And I do like the golden sponsors. Speaking of gold, we have an entirely golden away jersey, which of course is 30 years since the famous Barcelona Olympics. Uh, and that's what this jersey is all about. You see it on the sleeve because where the Olympic colors, although the red on the bottom is not very well seen. I would argue even that if you put the red on top, this might look even a little bit better. But uh, it's now uh, me talking here. Uh, but I feel this could look a little bit better because um, red is solely missing. Um, Having a purely gold jersey is already pretty bold um, and maybe for the time of Barcelona also not quite fitting. But I have to say, given that this should celebrate the Olympics, I totally get it. Now, uh, it's also a very contentious jersey because in the player version, the Weaponit version, there is a map of Barcelona in the Weaponit pattern. And this is what we see here and it looks absolutely awesome. And this is for the first time, I think Brazil has it with their home shirt that we'll see uh, when leading up to the World Cup. But we see it now here as well. This is the first two times that Nike made custom uh, vapor um, patterning in there. It looks really, really awesome. However, if you look up, up, up close, it looks a little bit rough. On the replica version, and I do agree that many say this looks cheaper, but they print actually the map on there and you can actually see more details. So I actually do like that a little bit better. But I gotta say, when you look at it, this picture shows it almost perfectly. It's an absolutely awesome uh, jersey with the gold. Again, I have the problem with the sponsor. The Barca crest in gold, uh, we will see much better golden crests. But overall, I think it's a really interesting idea. 
And given that yellow is a, for me a sanctioned Barca away color, I can actually live with the, with, the, with the gold one. And whenever there's a map on there, I really like it. For whatever it is, and the Barcelona Olympics are also for me uh, special, I'm going to give this nine stars. I think this is an outstanding jersey that um, deserves to be seen uh, and uh, appreciated. I am though not so sure about the away jersey. Uh, yes, gray is not my fa fa favorite color. Also, I mean, they keep it tone and tone with the sponsor. Uh, again, do like the full colored crest on, on there, but here is also where the template falls short. We have this cross, which is because the St. George's cross from the Barcelona um, city flag, which we have also in the um, uh, Barca crest in there. Uh, in the club's colors, but the double or 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 it looked look looks a little bit weird. But wouldn't it be better if the cross goes a little bit further up? It seems like you know the there's a whole shoulder yoke crafted upon it, um, and I find also it could use a little bit more spark. It's not bad, but here white would work so well. Next season they will have a white jersey. Yes, they will find a final finally. It's not a bad jersey. Um, but it's also not my fav favorite, but I still give it six. Barcelona looking much better than I actually anticipated uh, to give them. We go to the Madrid suburbs in Getafe, where Homer releases something that I find not too uninteresting because blue and green is a color combination that we see way too little. And that's what I like about this. Though the color looks really, really, really weird. If it was just a plain green color, I think I would like it a whole lot more than this uh, little bit uh, detached one. We still have the Techno Casa sponsor with this font that very much looks like a 90s video game. And again, logo next to uh, text also doesn't look nice. I think there are some airplanes uh, in there, which are also in the green of the Getafe crest. So that is an interesting touch that elevates the jersey a little bit more. But I gotta say, Cannot, unfortunately, I like the colors a whole lot, but the color, the way it is done, really turns me off. Despite on the sleeve, because we have something similar, but it's not, it's uh, it's kind of not so asymmetric. That's maybe what they, but I still give it a six and will stay very much the same with the other jerseys because the away jersey is a red version of that one. Um, I have to say, the blue and the green look better than the red and the blue, uh, although this is maybe a little bit more classic uh, soccer jersey. Uh, but yeah, yeah, five, five, the blue and the green did do something special. And then we have blue and green also for the third Jersey, which we had for a while. And I do like that the sponsor here is actually in dark green. So I actually think this makes it also look a teeny bit better. I, if they would have used the luminous green, uh, from the home, home Jersey, not this kind of faded, uh, minty cream. Uh, green it would have looked look a bit better but I'm willing here to also look past the color a little bit and say six should we also yeah six because the sponsor and uh, and, and the logos are in dark green but uh from Getafe you rarely get anything above average also has to be said uh, I have to still see an awesome Getafe shirt a very interesting shirt is coming from Osasuna. This Osasuna home shirt, as I remember this on the opening day of the season, and the first I was turned, I'm usually turned off by asymmetry. But there's something about this I find very interesting because you see it kind of counteracts the, uh, the asymmetry in the crest where we have red and blue, and so we have the main blue and then we have the, uh, the main red, and then we have the blue sleeve on the one side. The eyesore are the patches under the arms, which is an Adidas problem this season. Um, but other than that, I gotta say there is a lot to like here. Uh, the sponsor is actually quite beautiful. It is very elegant. And then with the wave on there, uh, the color is nicely uh, Adidas. It all makes sense. So it basically uh, comes down to how much do I dislike the patches. And how much do I do, uh, do this like the asymmetric sleeves? Now, first of all, asymmetric sleeves, I'm very happy that in La Liga this is allowed because in Europe they would not be allowed to play in these. So that also elevates it a little bit more. Gotta say, I'm gonna give this a seven. Uh, I think 
seems to be the correct grade for me. The away jersey for me is a teeny bit too dark to be a proper away jersey. I got I gotta say, um, and too symmetric maybe. Nah, it's a black jersey, nice wavy sponsor again, uh, but the rest is red, so it's kind of black and the red dom dominates. But it's a uh, overall a nice one. I cannot fault it either. Uh, but it's not an exciting one. It's more a leader's temp uh, template. -y. So I would say this is a, a six star for me. And then when we go to the uh, third jersey, um, again, it keeps the asymmetry. It keeps, unfortunately, also the patches under the arms, which do not look nice. It uses a light pattern and this was needed, but I don't get the minty green. Then with the full color, color grace here, Either go with the dark blue or go go, go go with the red. I think it would have been nice. I also don't know what this shape on the bottom uh, is. This uh, OS or whatever, but it looks like a C. So that we, uh, that does look a little bit weird. Uh, it's probably something from the crest. Could be an interesting thing, but I think it's the pink, uh, it's the minty stuff that turns me a little bit off together with the sleeve patches, making this not the best one of those. I uh, honestly gonna give this a four because it's a little bit too disjointed. And we'll end this video with Via Real. Uh, is this the best Via Real home jersey I've seen in a long time? Potentially. I mean, it's exactly what you would, would expect: the bright yellow with a little bit of a navy accent. And here we have a really nice '90s-looking short collar. I even like the sponsor. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm gonna go eight. I'm gonna go eight. Uh, it's always more interesting to look at the away jerseys. I don't have a much better pick picture than the one here on the mannequin, but I can tell you I'm not a fan of this. Uh, what do we do? What do we call this color? A steely purple color? Yeah, you see, and all, the pinstriping is okay, but if I look at the color, it kind of does not look quite right. Don't you agree with me? Uh, so yeah, this is one that uh, one jersey that I do not enjoy. I'm gonna, it's grayish purple, three stars, sorry to say, and we'll end it with a rather interesting third jersey, which is black and yellow. Now, I think that a straight reversal with the navy and yellow would be better, but this one looks nice. Again, why do we have the sweat stains in yellow? It's like, it looks like um, atomic sweat stains in, in a way. That's maybe the one thing you could use this on the collar somehow. Other than that, um, it pops and that may, makes it nice. Is it a really outstanding jersey? It's similar to the Getafe jersey. I do like the color combination, but the jersey in itself is nothing really, really that special, at least when I look at here at this picture and I have not seen it in match yet. So I'm gonna go six here. And there you have it. We have talked about the second batch. Please let me know which jerseys in here did you like, where do you agree and disagree with me, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel, I want to see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with all that, have a wonderful day! Bye!